What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Corey, if you are new here, and this is Williams Workshop. In today's video, we are gonna be doing the final, I don't wanna say final, because we guys kinda seen in the background, but the final tour of the new uh, YouTube studio slash 3D printing setup. So I didn't really clean it up, but I'm still gonna walk around. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we did down here, do some before and after videos as well, so, or before and after pictures, so you can kinda see what it looked like before. I'm gonna go over what I should have changed, some things that I am a little upset about, that I didn't do, mainly the color of these walls. It's crazy, by the way, uh, but we'll get into that. But yes, what I wanna do first is actually talk to you guys about how you can get entered into winning the Centauri Carbon from Elegoo. So when we get to 15,000 subscribers, I've been talking about this for a while on the channel, I'm gonna be giving away a Centauri Carbon. So easiest way to do that is make sure you're subscribed on this channel and next month, because we'll probably get to 15 subscribers next month. So July, I'm gonna be pulling a winner. I may do a live stream, I'm not sure on that, but either way, it's either gonna be a video where I announce the winner and I'm just gonna do that as the, um, as the title of the video or we're gonna do actual live stream. I'm not sure yet, but one of the other is gonna be a whole video or live stream dedicated to just talking about the winner of that. So once we hit 15,000 subscribers, I'm gonna put everyone's name into a pool who is subscribed to the channel. We're gonna pull and then I'll be sending out uh, the Centauri Carbon. So I just wanna say thank you guys so much for all the growth and um, you know, bearing with me. So let's actually get into the reason why you clicked on this video most likely is to see the tour and uh, kind of talk about the space. So let's do that. All right, so I wanna start at the place where you guys probably won't be seeing very often, which is the stairs coming down to the basement here. Uh, the man cave is in here, which we have seen before, so I'm not gonna do the full tour of the basement, but uh, that's the man cave over there. This is the section where I tried to like separate the dirty shop, so like the woodworking section and the clean shop. So there's this a door in here, goes out to the door, the dogs love it. Uh, goes out to like the dirty shop, I'm not gonna show you guys that, come on, inside. Um, it's just like where the wood shop's gonna be. But in here, now you can see we did put a door here. So originally this was a wall. So we, uh, a couple of years ago, actually I took this wall out. So there was just a clean space between the dirty shop and then into this unfinished space. So we basically re-put up this section of the wall and just framed out for the door put a door in here, it's a glass door so I can see inside uh, both ways. So I have this here. We had this window that was here before which you guys can probably see, maybe not, I'll double check, probably not, nope, there we go. We had this window here so all we did was just frame the window out. So this window was just framed out. I still have to finish it. Some of the stuff is not completely finished. I just haven't had enough time to uh, finish everything, but we framed out that window and then obviously we drywalled, did a drop ceiling. I guess we should start there. Uh, did a drop ceiling as well. So the original ceilings were 10 feet tall. I dropped this down to like nine or just under, just under seven feet, I think. Um, is where we have that, the ceiling. Did some uh, some lights here. I didn't do the recessed lighting because I had all of these lights. Uh, I didn't do the recessed lighting because I had all of these lights from the basement before and these are super bright, especially for down here. And I can uh, like kind of change the angle of them. So I wanted to go with these and stuck with these. So then, like I said, we framed out this window, framed out that door. This section here, this is gonna be for the laser engravers and, um, slicing so at some point i'm probably going to get a completely dedicated computer just to doing slicing and that's where it's going to go but for right now what i do is i just bring my monitor down or my laptop downstairs and plug it into this monitor so whenever i'm down here doing stuff uh working on videos things like that that's where that's going to be that's going to be kind of the editing booth and uh, all that stuff and um doing slicing as well as the laser engravers are going to be on that uh, on these tables here. So these are the standing desks. So I have three standing desks, uh, two from FlexiSpot. Shout out to FlexiSpot for sending both of these over. And then this is actually a FlexiSpot top on a desk house base. So I have this set up as kind of my main area where you guys will be seeing from this direction. That's the background. So this is that one desk right here. And then I have these two here, also standing desk for uh, laser engraving, editing, slicing, all that stuff's gonna be done right there. 
Now, moving over here, where you guys are kind of used to seeing, so you guys are more, I said used to, as I think I put like two videos out, but here we're eventually gonna do some shelving and display some of our 3D prints that we've done over the time. I still gotta paint that door, um, even though that's been there for a while, I gotta paint that door. And then this kind of starts where the 3D printing side begins over here. So this is kind of where you guys are gonna see me most of the time. This is where we're gonna do a lot of the videos talking head videos things like that and then obviously around the house like you guys have been seeing but let's talk about these shelves and go that way all right so this kind of starts the 3d printing run and as we get down i'll tell you a little bit more but right here it's going to kind of always be uh i have my bamboo lab p1s's here still i mean after everything going on. I don't want to say my favorite printer because I don't know if I have a favorite printer yet because the Centauri Carbon is pretty nice. Uh, Creality did send over the Creality High, which we're going to be doing a video. That should be coming out this month um, on my review on this and unboxing and first impressions of the Creality High. We have the Centauri Carbon here. And then I have these big, nice racks here that I decided to just turn into two shelving. I think I could have done three, but I turned it into two so I can actually get the AMSs to open the entire way down here. So I did that on that section, have my P1Ss there. Those are all gonna probably stay. This is gonna be the section where I move out old printers to have whatever new printer I have on display. So when I have my talking head videos here, you guys can see whether it's the video that we're talking about or the newest printer, I'm gonna try and keep that there and kind of rotate throughout there. So moving down a little bit further, gonna talk about this side first and then we'll switch over here. But for here, kind of my thought process is all of this eventually is gonna be 3D printers. I kind of have them scattered around the house. I have two more upstairs and you'll see that. We'll talk about that here in a second. I'm not happy, but we're talking about that. Uh, but I think this is all gonna be 3D printers here. Right now, it's kind of just a mess. A lot of this section over here is a mess because I have to do some storage over here. But for now, we have the uh, FL Sun T1 Pro, and then the uh, Flash Forge uh, Adventure 5M Pro down here. Right here is Sunlu the, Sunlu new the new Sunlu dryers that I have to do a video on as well. A couple things I gotta do some videos on. But these are just these muscle racks that I had upstairs originally. The only new rack I bought was for uh, this one down, uh, for down here. Moving over here, I got some filament. So this was also upstairs. These, all these three were upstairs. Uh, so I got some filament. This is kind of my filament area for now until one, I clean this section out and then we are able to build something that's coming. I'm gonna talk to you guys about that here in a second. But uh, for now, I think my thought process is 3D printers, 3D printers, maybe 3D printers. Then we're gonna do storage over here. So all of the inventory for the business is gonna go on this section here. And then we have a sink as well. We have a sink that I know it wasn't necessarily, hey, I really need a sink down here, but I figured if we start getting into resin printing, which is a possibility, I've had a couple companies reach out. I've had a couple companies reach out already and talk about doing 3D printing, so or through doing resin 3D printing. So potential down there or down the road for that. This here, you guys are gonna ask. Ugh. You haven't seen a video on this because my heart is still broken. There is. This is the Bamboo Lab H2D. The one everyone's been talking about. You've probably seen it a hundred times. And that is a absolute massive blob. Yep, so your boy thought it was a good idea to uh, print a couple things. I was like, oh, this is really cool. Assuming it was like all of my other printers, I can set a print on it and be good and not have to worry about it. Decided I was gonna run a, I forget what the item was, but it's gonna be an overnight print like I do with a lot of my other printers. And uh, loaded some PLA up, or at least what I thought was PLA. Loaded it up, went over and turned off all of the sensors too. I did everything wrong to get this to happen. Uh, I set up, PLA, which is what I thought it was, and it wasn't PLA, it was actually EZPA. 
So it globbed up a massive amount. And um, yeah, so I reached out to Bamboo Lab. They did send me some replacement parts, but that is a whole thing that I eventually will have to get to taken care of and probably sooner than later because that is a very expensive printer to just be sitting around and doing nothing. And I really want to get a review out for you guys because that's actually why I bought the print. I didn't want the print. I bought it for you guys and I globbed it up and I can't actually give a good review on it. So I need to actually get that taken care of. I should maybe get that done this week. I should get it done this week. I'm going to get it done this week so I can uh, get that review out for you guys eventually. I'm happy, unhappy. But yeah, so then from there you have the box here because I thought I was gonna have to return it. Bamboo Lab doesn't do returns. Um, I was gonna just, I said, I don't really care how much it costs for you guys to fix it. Can I just ship it and you guys fix it? They said no. Um, so I'm gonna have to try and fix it myself. Hopefully it works and um, yeah, we'll go from there. But hopefully I can get all this stuff cleaned out. But one thing we missed on this side of the tour is I did put a bathroom in here, which hallelujah. So nothing crazy. It's a uh, Standard size bathroom, uh, just a vanity and a toilet. So when I am down here or over in the man cave, don't have to go all the way upstairs to use the bathroom. So that's the one section here. And then moving over here, this is a little hallway that goes into the unfinished portion. This right here is just kind of storage for now, but what it's actually going to be, the reason I put outlets here, is this is going to be where all of my filament goes. And uh, I have a ton of filament dryers as well. So I'm going to build a, some kind of bench here where storage is going to be below and above. And then there's going to be a nice kind of countertop for me to put all of the uh, filament dryers that I have. So that's going to be one video that's coming up here probably in the next month or two. We're going to be doing that build and shout out to uh, Polymaker for sending over all of the filament that we can use for that. So yeah, that's kind of it. I'm going to do a quick video with you guys in my hand so we can kind of walk through everything. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm excited uh, to get more videos and more content out for you guys, but I'll do a, if you're walking down the stairs, and a little recap. So up there is the house. You come down here. Like we talked about, this is the, that's the man cave in there. Then from there, kind of walking around, this is kind of the YouTube studio section. You got the monitor and the laser engravers, which we'll talk about that we create. Out there is the, I might as well just show you, what I'm gonna call the dirty shop. So I'm gonna have all of the woodworking stuff out here. Then when you come in here, there's Kobe. Back here, that's just uh, where all the electrical panel and there's like a deep freezer in there. You got the printers over here, coming this way. Got the bathroom and some more printers, sink. And then eventually this is gonna be filament storage. And then this is all, once that goes over here, that's gonna be the inventory that's actually sitting right here. So that's pretty much it. All right, guys, but that has wrapped up today's video. Thank you guys, if you've watched this far, thank you so much for being a uh, loyal subscriber to the channel. And like I said, I promise for, to get more consistent videos out. Even if it is just once a month, I promise to give you some higher quality videos than what I've been doing. Now that work is kind of settled down, I'm able to take a break, and or not a break, but I'm able to kind of get back into everything, starting the new job was a little hectic and a little crazy. So now that we're kind of settled in, been doing that for six months, I feel I can get more videos out and I want to get more videos out for you guys as well. I really appreciate all the growth and all of the um, love and support you guys have been showing me. So it's only right that I give uh, as best quality videos to you guys as I possibly can. And uh, we built all of this really so we had a spot to do that. Uh, some of the things I really wish I would have done differently is these white walls, for sure. Uh, these white walls are a little too bright. I probably would have done, and I still may um, do a, uh, do like a gray or something. I'm not sure. We'll see. But that'll be down the road. Um, but yeah, no, that is probably the biggest thing is because the walls get super dirty. But other than that, I think I'm, I'm really happy with everything. I can't really complain. I'm excited to um, continue to grow this channel uh, for you guys and uh, really just to you know, continue to give you guys information about the 3D printing business, which we are gonna be talking about that here soon. And 
Uh, I took down my Etsy shop, well, the one Etsy shop that you guys saw and kind of talking about what I've been doing over the last couple of months with the 3D printing business side of things, as well as the printers and things like that. So make sure you're subscribed so you can win the Centauri Carbon, but also so you can get some cool videos here in the next couple of months and weeks. So uh, other than that, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.